so excuse the noise, we're making serious progress here. They're the two tank tops, tank one and two. And we have the sides cut for them there. And we're just about to cut the next set of sheets. There's the whole lot of them there. There's our trusty guillotine. So the cut is actually going very well. We're very happy, we're very accurate. And uh, slowly knocking away. It's great to be able to put X's on things as we get them done. So it's taken us about an hour. We've everything cut now. Very happy with the accuracy and the cuts. And uh, Anthony did a great job. I worked with him. So we're going to wait till this uh, arrives over to the site of the boat. So I just spent a little while this morning making these, they're uh, 50 by 5 cut down and I stenciled one of them, I didn't use all the stencils but they're all exactly right. I made one then I bolted them all together and put the shape in them so they're completely identical. There's nothing in them, they're all the same. So they're going to weld onto the door and the door is currently upside down and I'll just show you roughly where it's going to go so it'll be like that where you can see it underneath that'll be welded in there and there's our hinges so I'll do that when I'm ready to do it and for the part that'll go in between so that'll be on the door So that's the way it's going to sit on the door and literally I'll be welding 
that to that I always get different ones that are fully threaded M12s and then we're fully adjustable in now to the door and you can see where the door frame is going to sit within it and then I have a little plan for the other side for the locks just haven't finalised it yet so I'm thrilled with those all of them and uh, the other news is is that on Monday today is Thursday the 2nd or 3rd of July I think it's the 3rd so wait you see what's happened over here so thanks to uh, the son of an influential man in my life years ago Leonard Sheridan God rest him he's passed on now but his son Brendan came down with his big tractor we took a few pictures and we got the engine out of the truck because that lift doesn't move anymore so a regular forklift can't do it and on Monday evening uh, we're going to be putting the engine in the boat so that's quite a milestone so uh, the gang, I have pictures taken, you'll have seen them. Uh, the gang rushed to the aid and uh, where there was a little bit of corrosion and just from sitting there for years, uh, you can see now it looks new. It looks absolutely new, we've it all touched up. Any rust removed and painted over and primed. And we got a very similar looking paint spray and uh, the engine absolutely well it is new but it now looks like new so there we go so this is the first of the hinges going on you can see the bolt there and I have it quite tight so I've just done the first weld there I hope you can see it and just a weld around those and then another one either end So this is one of the three hinges I've made. I cut out all the little parts, these little number sixes. And there uh, is an M12 bolt into this. It's just not spaced right now. There'll be a stainless washer on either side. And this one I've just left out purely because the bolt would have been hitting the table. But you can see the mechanism. And goes through the hole in here and it'll also go through the bulkhead in the actual boat so it's just going nowhere I'll weld put a bit of weld around these and that's the last one so that's the uh, hinge side so the top of the door is technically there the way it's going to swing so I now have the door closing mechanisms now I've kind of gone for the old submarine look where you fold up so I've made these little hinges an M8 bolt, working perfect and then I'm going to weld a little handle onto here and then I'm going to get, I have to get some more of this place, something nice and chunky that I can put a nice curve on, put the slot into and a curve and then round that back there and weld this all around and remember I do have strength here because I have two channels right underneath me there of the 225 mils underneath me so that'll be good and strong so that'll go there and this will be needed and then this will get drawn down and I have the three of those hinges fitted now so I'm nearly there with this door now it did take I've spent another few hours just making the hinges alone I was maybe thinking I had it all done but the rest of it is done so I mean this is just the last bit and then as some kind of a little handle I'll just put there just to open and close it it weighs a ton now but of course it won't weigh anything when it's uh, hanging up it'll just be nice and heavy so that's uh, the latest they're all nicely finished in there and just a weld on the end I didn't weld the insides just a weld either end there as well just enough to hold them but uh, they'll take tons of pressure so that's it it's absolutely lashing outside for the weekend so uh, there's not going to be much done. So to make the uh, parts to go here, I want a little lip on them. So uh, I've actually got some channel iron which I used on my uh, router. I'm going to show you that sometime. Built that. Let's get it going. It's fully working. Um, so I've used uh, a slice of it. You left the radius there, obviously, and then sanded it out. This one is fully finished. And this one is just a little touch to go. 
So there it is folks, the door is now in. One sec now try and navigate this uh, steep floor to get to it. So frame is now in, the hinges have all lined up lovely. Very happy with those. I literally am up to the line with the door. If I'd made it a few millimeters bigger, it wouldn't actually open fully. These are the locks, I'll put little wing nuts on them in due course. So there it is opened and you can see exactly how much I had to play with. I don't mind that, I can put a stop there in due course and the bedroom wall that will be going here will be actually part of the flooring that runs over this piece here this frame so it'll be close enough to that so I am away from the bedroom uh, this will be the width of the hall here up here um, so as you can see I fit mostly welded in uh, there's still a small bit of finishing and a bit of touching up to do I have the underside to grind yet but it's welded the whole way around just needs to seal it'll get painted now as is it's never coming out of the boat again it'll get painted um, on the boat once I get it all cleaned out and repaint all these bits because that bit was missed with the ladder when I originally painted so it's just a case of tidying it up and uh, painting it and I'll have a lovely seal along here then and it'll be perfect so to say I'm very happy with it it's heavy but it flows really quite well and windows down on the seal and we're done so let's lose the welder and that whole floor there has to come out before Monday today is Saturday as we are dropping in the engine on Monday which will be going in down there so bit by bit we're getting there <laughs> 